So hello, my friends. Uh, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension. And uh, today, um, you know, we're having a session with uh, Natty Beats. That's <laughs> a short one, you know. It's uh, Natalia uh, Beatty, is that correct? Yep, Natalie uh, Beatty. <laughs> Natalie Beatty. Mm -hmm. And so, um, uh, first of all, uh, you know, uh, what is your specialty? My specialty, <laughs> many, uh, I've, a light language comes through a lot, um, but just having a very strong psychic connection and, and learning how to trust it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, basically, you know, Nettie uh, approached me and said, you know, she wants to test her ability to do light language. Um, you know, she is uh, new to this in, in certain ways and not so sure about it. And so uh, this is why, you know, we have a private session here. And so I'm holding the space and, you know, creating the energy. And uh, then we requested, uh, um, you know, certain recipes and uh, for her benefit, of course, and, and you know, everybody else's benefit. Um, some private stuff, you know, um, will be or was cut out. So, uh, Nettie, uh, one more question, you know, how um, do you get to know me? How did I get to know you? I found you on your YouTube. <laughs> I did a, I did one of the meditations. It blew my socks off. I, my arms started shaking. My hips started moving around. I felt things being pulled out of me. And uh, this was when I was fairly new to psychic stuff. I didn't believe in ETs. Uh, <laughs> and after a couple of months of having sessions with you, I was direct channeling the Arcturians. So... <laughs> <laughs> this guy's powerful. If you want a session, book in. If you want your own abilities to open up, I suggest having some sessions. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I would say, you know, these uh, are, should be considered gifts that are coming through Natalie, you know, through, uh, to humanity. So about Natalie, you know, you're moving in a different directions. You know? yes. uh, and uh, how are you supposed to help uh, humanity? <laughs> so I, I thought that it was doing uh, healing and psychic readings, but I actually did that for a couple of years so that I could go back to what I've done for the previous 12 years, which is uh, build businesses. So I now help spiritual entrepreneurs, light workers, and change makers who want to be psychics, healers, coaches, sell crystals, anything spiritual, and I help them make an impact in the world. So my guides very much said to me that I can make a much bigger impact if I help other light workers get out there. One of my innate gifts is talking on camera, confidence building, NLP, all of that, the 3D grounded stuff that often uh, more spiritually connected people aren't very good at. They're just very good at the connection stuff. So I kind of help bring them down and get them out to the world. <laughs> good. Do you have a, a story you like to tell us? You know, a short story, of course. A little story? Uh, sure. Do you know what? I'm just going to go with the something that came through on our first session because I was thinking about it literally before the session today, which was um, the first uh, past life I ever experienced, which was where I was a healer to Seti the first, and in the temple of is it Abaddon? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right in Egypt, um, and I went through. And I'd never been in one of my own past lives before. It was absolutely insane. I could see gold everywhere. I could see this man in a bathtub. I got the message. He was uh, Seti the first. He was a pharaoh. And I was his personal healer. And I basically um, found out that I died with him. So my life ended early. The reason that in this life um, I should be using my gifts to benefit myself as well as humanity is because in that life I sacrificed my whole life for someone else and I also found out through Wolfgang interviewing me uh, that he buried me alive and that in this life he's my dad <laughs> payback time so, yeah we cleared uh, we cleared a lot that was that was the first powerful like past life healing I ever experienced and it was it was amazing and the relationship between me and my dad changed I can't even explain how, but we're a lot closer um, after that one session, which is amazing. But yeah, I highly recommend traveling into past lives. It's very fun. <laughs> so, all right. So now um, we're going to get into the light language um, purification uh, for different topics uh, as well. Uh, let me just remind you, I, I do a private session on Skype. I'm still available and affordable. <laughs> Uh, so uh, send me an email if you want to get in touch with me. I, I love you. Namaste. 
And so uh, let's put a request in there. First of all, let's ask that everything that happens in and from the session is going to be for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. Amen. And that the service to dark side cannot manipulate us or and anybody else or this material in any way. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. And now we like to have, um, you know, your um, guides, you know, the highest and most perfect at that particular request to bring in light language, you know, or gesture. Uh, whatever um, to uh, to purify and uplift, you know, our immune system, the immune system of everybody that receives this. This is very much needed. We have flu season, so to say. Mm -hmm. So we like to have this. Amen. Amen. And they're coming to my throat. Tiara <clears> tiatato. <throat> I have put a tika torati and not on the atala or a taetia cora no no not the atura tite cuya nata ura teo taia monatia catura ye atura mananetica rona ye o taia o taia teo tika monaya tikaro taia toa ye ye. Oof, I can see an uh, image of the world reflecting into the water and it's like a clear globe in the water. Teratunu atiatara puti karu tuti anunaya ki urati kaya ture totatara monia karatia katotura teata karamoa teat noyata. They're saying that everything has a parallel, uh, <coughs> like a reflection. Nyatuotuna no neato naya to la tika tura tia nomake. This is a, this is a, I walk around my house just spouting this all day, every day. I sing it all day, every day. It just, it just comes through. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> is he done with this uh, invocation? I have more to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can do, we can do as much as you like. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Um, so, how about uh, uh, light language uh, clearing to clear outdated thoughts, emotions, and concepts, and bring in make space for the new, better stuff to come in? It's me a massive, um, it's like a bright pink crystal with purple veins all over it. Mm. It's like coming out of the ground, like a vault in the ground. Definitely a different dimension, that's not Earth. It's <laughs> Mm -hmm. That one sounded quite different to the... Very, very different personality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never done them one after another. They always sound different, but I just, I mean, whatever comes through, comes through. I'm singing, I'm chatting away. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we asked only the highest and best, and as approved by our high selves. Okay, um, let's do another one. Uh, this is also very important. Um, clearing the negative... Okay, so... Um, this request here now is about clearing negative portals in ourselves and our room and clearing also negative energies that are there, you know, that have accumulated there or have been sent there to sabotage. Mm -hmm. So you like to have light language that by listening to this, these things will be cleared. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> this one feels weird. 
I ai 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 tui ai ai ui ai a tui ai ai ui a ta 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 ai a ta 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 tui ta te ka ka tui ta ta e ko ka ka ai ai ui a ta 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 ia mo ta 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 ia a ai a ta ai a ta ta ga ui a a a a ui a ti ti ga ro ta 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 mo ia ta ta ka ro ta mo ia to ta 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 tu tu te ka ro ta to to ro tu tu ta 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 ro mo ia ro ta to ka ia pa ta ro pa ta to mo ia ta 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 ro ti ka ti ka ro ti o tu tu sa i ti ti ka ta ro ti to to ti a ka. Rutsigar, 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 mbor, tak tak katar, tur tur toi, tak tak kert suayat, noda ya tak kert tomo ya tay, hoya tak kert tu ya, noda tak kara pota ya tak kert tu jia to or e e kara ta a a tia ojata, wicha a tu. Indeed. Well, let me just add to this, my my commentary. So uh, there are some very heavy duty mantras uh, for psychic protection mm -hmm. um, in the Srimad Bhagavatam to Lord Nasingade, which is a Lyran. And uh, a lot of that Sanskrit sounds very much the, the staccato. Like, chindi chindi. Yeah, this is like, you know, you cut this when you asked it to be the enemies to be chopped up. <laughs> oh, know? wow. So, yeah, yeah. So this is uh, very, very much cool. resonates it in the energy. Very, it felt very different. I could feel it. Um, they had to push it out of me and, my, and um, yeah. I couldn't breathe so much while I was doing it. I had to, like, uh, I wasn't, I had, I had to make them stop so that I could take a breath. <laughs> oh, that felt very strange. Hmm. Okay, so maybe let's do one more. I never, I never asked, like, so, so many different ones come out during the day. I never really ask what they're for, because they always make me feel really good. So I just, la, 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 just carry on. <laughs> no, record them, record them, as well as, um, you know, ask for their intent and purpose. It's not just medicine for yourself, you know, it because it can be reproduced like prayer mills. Mm -hmm. Right, so that is a technology. I put out this singing before, I'll be honest, it, um, it took me a lot to put out the singing one on on Instagram because of my brand, which the whole point of it is I'm supposed to normalize all of this because my brand is spirituality without the bullshit. I get such like, oh, God, everyone's going to. Oh, God. But the first light language singing I put out had like a huge response. Loads of people commenting and being like, this is amazing. I was like, oh. So it is, yeah. it's something that I have had well it's, there's a reason we're doing it today it's something i've had written down on a bit of paper <laughs> for a while mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah let it rip you know this is uh <laughs> when you let it rip uh you know you're more successful than you could imagine i've been there uh, so uh so another thing is that we have a lot of let's say um astral stuff on us you know that's there to hurt us you know whether it's curses or black magic parasites uh, or just tech, you know, uh, astral tech or from other beings, uh, like from the service to self beings, <laughs> to be more specific. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we asked, that, you know, that your highest and best team at this, your specialist, you know, please produce some light language that will clear this, you know, for everybody that goes with them. Amen. Amen. My hands are doing some mm -hmm. Morse code over here. You keep them up so we can see them in front of your heart. That's probably the best, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that one was brilliant. <laughs> this was look, I think it sounded like Sanskrit. <laughs> Sanskrit. Mm -hmm. What what is Sanskrit? Where does it come from? 
This is the uh, Sanskrit of the gods, the Vedic, according to the Vedas. This is what mm -hmm. they spoke. Okay. You know, this ancient language, Aramaic and, you know, Sanskrit, or, you know, some, you know, claim, you know, uh, some language are considered to it, be divine. It feels languages. ancient. Um, one of the things I was actually going to ask, I had written down to ask if we do some direct channeling, is where does light language come from? Um, because I've watched a lot of videos of other people saying that it comes from your soul and comes from these different places. And when I've done it before, I'm like, it It, sound, it sounds like an actual language, like a, it feels ancient, it feels really familiar. Um, I've had some that's come through that sounds very like sort of Native American before. Um, and some, I had someone who heard me and they said that I definitely said some like Kenyan words in it, like it sounded like African chanting. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's just... Okay, yeah, let's uh, let's go for it. Mm -hmm. So just punch up, you know, just having a nurse, get your heart chakra blazing. My energy so high after doing that. <laughs> well, I'm 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 projecting a lot of chi into you. I'm mm. souping you up, right? I mean, you should be aware of this. You know, I'm I'm sending a lot of love and light into you, so you can reach as high as possible. Yeah, thank you. I feel That's very fuzzy. <laughs> that's my job as the priest here, you know, I mean, yeah, of course, no bullshit, but, you know, this is my mm -hmm. role here. Mm -hmm. At the first time, you know, this was about clearing, you know, of uh, an uh, enhancement of our immune system. Mm -hmm. Now ask, you know, who were those um, people that were channeling through you? Was this first of all an aspect of yourself? Yes or no? No. Mm -hmm. oh. Was this an aspect of your spirit guides? Yes or no? Aspect of my guides, no. I'm getting the word Atlantean. Ah, okay. So, uh, um, this were, uh, these beings were are there as Atlanteans in human form? Or is it more above human form? I'm getting a, I think there's, it's like a mixture. I'm getting a yes and no. It's flashing between the two of them. Yeah, yeah. They were, you know, hybrid. They were not like us. <laughs> Very more powerful. Mm -hmm. Right. So were these kind of like the Adamite or pre-Adamites, you know, the uh, with the pudgy hips, a little feminine, were yeah. those, they were, no, that's very different, mm -hmm. yes. And, uh, I, can't so, see, I can't see fully, but I can just see, I can see like a glowing floor and, um, and like water, and I can just see the very bottom of like a robe, like a, um, almost like a pearlescent, like a pearlescent blue robe, kind of like, um, the colors that I see when I'm in other dimensions, uh, like ET ships and stuff, mm -hmm. but it's right. on the ground. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so this is from the Atlantean period. Mm -hmm. Are they stuck? Are they still trapped in the Atlantean time uh, as ghosts or are they liberated beings? Are they trapped? Yes. They're trapped. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, who has trapped them? There's a just one. Just one. Is, that, is it in me? Yes, there's something in me. It is a. It's a part of you? Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think there's uh -huh. a reason I've been looking at so many jewels today. I'm seeing, a, I'm seeing like a crown um, uh -huh. with a, with like a pink jewel and it's like I, I trapped them in that, in the, in the crystal, oh. in the jewel. Okay, so let's say there, there is something is trapped in the, in the crystal in the jewels. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay. they, they, uh -huh. so um, let's just ask, you know, are there, is there an entity trapped in there, in this crown, in this jewel, yes or no? Yes. Uh -huh. Did you trap or somebody else trap this entity there, you know, to enhance this crown, yes or no? Did I trap this? Yes. Sorry. Uh -huh. Now, for what purpose did you trap this being in there? To be able to project my third uh -huh. eye more. Mm, to be more powerful. Mm -hmm. Now, did this entity agree to that? Yes or no? Yes. Mm -hmm. And is it still appropriate and timely that this uh, being is still there with you and assisting you and projecting? Uh, they said no, no. They can help me from above. They don't need to be uh, with me anymore. Ah. They can still help me, but without being trapped. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now ask your high self whether this is the correct information. 
Okay, yeah. Yeah, I get that too. Uh -huh. This is always. <laughs> mm -hmm. she was, right. look, she's always busy doing some. She's just like looking up from a notepad, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sorry well, to disturb you. <laughs> send her some love. Send her some love. She's just she's yeah. working hard. Send her some love. <laughs> and also yeah. this being from the crown. Mm -hmm. Thank you for helping you to project so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, bright light. Uh -huh. Is it from the fairy kingdom? From which kingdom uh, did this entity come from? Well, yeah, that was a big, like, shining yeses going, yes, 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 all over your mind. All right. And like an so we asked, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we asked my ascension teams, you know, my volunteers here, you know, the most qualified for this job to please help her to reunite her with her people and to get free of those contracts and entrapment and help her with the transitions now. Yeah, bring her to the temples. You have specialized places for this and then assist her to go home. <laughs> and then whatever baggage is there, that stuff that should be leaving from this installation, you know, we like to have cleared from Natalie. Amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. There you go. I can feel that one. It's <laughs> and the top of the head <laughs> opens okay. up and the rain comes in, right? Twitching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my body spasms so much when I'm doing this stuff. <laughs> It's upgrading. The energy leaving. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Now smile into your crown chakra and you just talk to the body. And dear body, thank you so much for holding all this stuff, but you can let go of this stuff. Mm -hmm. We thank you so much. You did such a great job. We appreciate you so much. Okay. So now let's have all the all the overlays, all this baggage cleared from you, especially the damage to your throat chakra. Amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. And to slow <coughs> your confidence too, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, do some toning. Yeah, do uh, do a ma there. Ma, let it resonate in your throat. Good. Keep on going. It, till it's, it becomes smooth after about 10, 15 breaths. So just keep on resonating it. I'm going to send love into it, healing love into it. Keep on going, a couple more. Then we, I'm already requesting from your highest guides mm -hmm. uh, a light language with throat clearing. So they're going to prepare that now. <laughs> Keep on going, keep on going, you know.
asked whether this is a Tibetan or is this a different type of shaman? I got them laughing. <laughs> asked, is this a Tibetan or is it like a... Um, like a Tibetan, uh, yes. <laughs> Tibetan, huh? Is this an aspect of you or somebody else? I've, been, I've tried to do that so many times and it's never worked. No, it, um, you're doing it right. I listen to it a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, is this an aspect of me? Yes. Uh -huh. Does this have asked this aspect to be in front of you? <laughs> uh, oh, my cheeks. <laughs> yeah, this smiley smiley, huh? Yeah? <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <sighs> <laughs> it's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Red so hat, but round hat, red stuff. Yeah, they had mm -hmm. us to soup up the crown yeah, chakra. Okay, they have good sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Start running some <laughs> love with her. Let's have all the resistances between you and her clear. There you go. <laughs> I want to be able to do that all the time. Well, how about one for the heart chakra? <clears throat> She's shaking her head. No, this is a nun. Okay. How about, um, well, does she do second chakra, first chakra stuff? Throat she chakra? Said, she's saying, she's saying, well, she's like one step at a time, don't, don't mm -hmm. hurt your throat. <laughs> There. And there's, let's say, put it like this, there are so many people that have throat chakra issues, especially women and children. Mm -hmm. So if she can do something that's good for everybody, throat chakra, that would be very much appreciated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fine. She's like, to me, she's like, are you sure? Is your throat okay? Mm -hmm. No, no, just have her do another one over mm -hmm. on a deeper level. I mean, believe me, there's so much stuff on your throat. Oh, okay, yeah, so the, there's, oh, uh, I've never had the mantis beings come through before. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I can see a, is that a mantis head or a snake's head? I can't. Mantis and snake? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's call on Lord Nisinga, Dave. That's the lion. Mm -hmm. Ask if he's cool with the mantis. Yes. And the snake? No. Right. My eyes is going crazy. Uh huh. So let's uh, let's ask the snake to leave, please. <clears throat> mm -hmm. oh, I feel that. Mm -hmm. And let's see. You know, what's your relationship with the mantis being? Have you been incarnated with those people? No. He Do came because have... he called. He he with the throat. He just came uh, in to help. He's an expert uh, surgeon for throat. Yeah, they're very famous for surgery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does he have a pr uh, improvement from your high self? So, I mean, you don't want to get sabotaged. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's like, thumbs up. All right. So let's have him <clears throat> work through you and then also for all the women and men mm -hmm. who cannot express it in my self. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> ask ask if you're done. Uh, is it done or should done? you continue? We're done. Yeah. Bow on his head. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ask, 
asked if they have been working with the African people. You know, this. Yeah, there was a lot of clicking going on. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, mm. part of their language. So. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm, they have. What is the influence that they are responsible in Africa on those people? What is their aspects? Helping like fertile ground. Mm -hmm. It is like farming land, like yeah, like people. Oh, I can see people like doing that uh, language, like at the ground. Oh, like like uh, for for stuff to grow, you know, like mm -hmm. like sending it back to the earth. Mm -hmm. Asked whether the clicking sounds are actually purifying, whether they um, break up a uh, dark chi. Yes. <laughs> so they're um, so he's helping them to send uh, to purify the earth and to sink the earth. Is this? Yeah, so they can grow food. Mm -hmm. Good. So very nice. <coughs> Um, so let's ask him, uh, well, thank him for, for coming and um, uh, let's see, um, a lot of people um, are disconnected, you know, from the earth goddess, you know, from this connection and through uh, modern uh, science, let's say, you know, anything from rubber sneaker concrete sitting all day in front of a computer or in the car, no more nature walks, <laughs> right? So, uh, asked whether he or somebody, a perfect expert at this, you know, um, um, can bring in some light language and gestures, and, you know, mudras, so to say, and energies that will help humans, you know, to connect with your Earth Mother in the perfect way, to, to rejoin them with them for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. Amen. Mm -mm -mm. Oh dear. Ask whether it's done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my whole spine whales. is in the back of my I, yeah whales that came to my mind too. Yeah. <laughs> let's just let's just call on the whale energy some more. Mm -hmm. uh, just to vibrate, you know, the body so everybody gets tunes into now. Mm -hmm. And make us more connected to the water energies, and more conscious about the water mm -hmm. energy, how water carries consciousness. Mm -hmm and how water is supposed to be respected, mm -hmm. and that we also be starting to respect and become in touch you know, with those water creatures again. Mm -hmm. This is the cradle of our DNA, so to say. Mm -hmm. You can connect with, connect with the lavatar and that frequency too. Mm. The Lavatar are beings who have come through uh, before that are here to help heal the waters. Um, they came through to me, uh, but I think they only came through to me first because they were for a couple of my clients. My clients were supposed to be in contact with them. They haven't come back through after that, so I feel like I was just kind of passing the connection on. But I can see them now in the water with the whales. Who are those? Lavatar? Lavatar. What is <laughs> which is also there's a pokemon <laughs> in our 3d world called lavatar and i had to check so many times when i was channeling like is that what you said La La lavatar they are uh they're beings they have their arms are made of 
you know, like an eel's tail. <laughs> Their kind of arms are kind of kind of like this. They're very floaty, very very peaceful. F- such massive hearts, and they are uh, kind of reptilian. They're they're not reptilian, but they look uh, like like kind of like fish, like kind of like mer people. Yeah, or they have scales. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. and and little tiny, little tiny mouths. <laughs> are they astral beings? Are they astral beings? I'm getting yes and no. Okay, so they're in between, like uh, let's say, like the Zeti, like the Zeti. Mm-hmm. Zeti yeah, mm-hmm. they can yeah. they switch back and forth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ask is there service to purify the astral areas of the uh, ocean? Is this what they do? It's to to purify all all ocean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is uh, is this is this is the service that the mayor people, the mayor men used to do. Is that correct? Yes. Are you seeing mayor mayor men, mayor women and mayor men? Is that correct? Oh, sorry. Can you ask that again? Mm-hmm. So these are those people, you know, um, that you just met. Mm-hmm. Are those the traditional mayor mayor mermaids? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. And so you just sent a lot of love to them, mm-hmm. and we apologize for the humanity for polluting, you know, for polluting our nest, their nest. <coughs> we're, so, we're so sorry. We're so sorry. We're so sorry. We're so sorry. To forgive us, you know, to forgive us. Yeah. They're like pure love, have... love vibration. They, it's massive heart, massive heart energy. Okay, so let's just uh, send, you know, we asked our spirit guides to give us as much love as we can handle and send it to them and just and then see what happens, what comes back from them, all right? You can just see it spreading out in the ocean like, um, like little explosions. And you know when you when you put like a drop of dye in water or something that's got paint on it and you dip it in and it seeps out across the the ocean. That's what I'm saying. We are so fairies, we are so unicorns and all the nature beings that want to participate to send love to the mermaids. We ask our Palladian friends to send love to the mermaids. We ask our Turian friends to send love to the mermaids, to purify them as much as possible from all this pollution that's in. To give them permission to stop those that purposefully contaminate the ground. Through sabotage, through low vibration machines and other things. <clears throat> Perfect. Oh, well, I mean, let's just keep it running. Yeah, we mm-hmm. still have time. So that was nice, huh? Yeah, man. That was good. Yeah, I'm good. excited. Uh-huh. I, I just, I just can't wait to hear the throat, the throat singing back. Like, honestly, I've been trying to do that for like a year. It came through once when I did a remote healing on someone mm-hmm. and she, I had to clear her throat chakra and I just suddenly started doing it. And then after the session, I tried to set up a camera quickly and do it again. And then, pff, nope. <laughs> no, 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 this is, a, you get empowered. You know, mm-hmm. this is some empowerment, the principle for yourself. Um, no, you're not getting that much enjoyment and output and of love, and, you know, not necessary. But if you have this compassionate attitude, you know, there is, um, you know, service to other self, yeah. um, you get empowered. And of course, I was holding the space too for that. Yeah, so I could, you know, I knew the monks, I did the Sanskrit and, you know, all this. So, I mean, this is the real thing. So this is the real kitten kabulu. Yeah, oh, wow. so. I didn't know that that I could that many could come through me. <laughs> I've never. I yeah. mean, I didn't. I, some of those noises, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, I mean, also what you have to um, understand, you know, you that is 
you know, we, this was very constricted before. First of all, you know, you were called and, and blocked. You know, mm -hmm. we just cleared that. And so there was a certain roughness, which is absolutely to be expected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, for, for me, it takes about 15 minutes of, of toning, of you know, singing Om Namah Shivaya, you know, to, before it to somehow become more pure. So, uh, so the more you do this, you know, the more, um, you know, expert you will become at this, bringing those energies in there. Mm -hmm.